Now, Larry. Larry Hingerton. You're a long time in this band. How long are you here for? Um, about 1954, I think I joined. 1954. And how big was the band that time? Very big. How many? About how many members? Oh, there must be 40, I'm sure, anyhow. 40 members. Yes. P.C. McConnell was the bandmaster. He would be grandfather of Frank McCaffrey. Yeah. And who set up the band first? Initially. Oh, that's... We had a centenary about 112 years ago. So, I wouldn't remember that. <laughs> Were there any names linked to it at the time? John, 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 John. You know John. Uh, John is on stage in the band. Can you remember John, who was the... Well, Pete McConnell was the only one I yeah, yeah. Right. There were people probably before him, were there? Oh, yeah, and either one. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, the evidence when it was presented to the band in, from the, Clif to the tuba and so it was presented yeah. to the Clifton Band in 1908 and we have it in the band. 1908? 1908, yeah. So that's a, and do you think it's 150 years old? Sorry. Well, like, that's when they got it, so... Did you ever do a recording, lads? Yes, we did one many, many years ago. Joe Halloran uh, had uh, a recording the studio up there. I remember that. Yeah, but, uh, we had it was, we, we had so many in the band. We had to go to the lecture hall. And, uh, and what did you record on that? Uh, well, we did some very good stuff. Entirely. We even did the jazzy stuff as well. Uh, a tribute to Benny Goodman. A tribute to even Bob Hope. Thanks for the memory, that was his, his um, signature right, and yeah. uh, some merch and some, some very, very good stuff. There's a lot of music, yeah. Some, some Latin American music as well, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So that tape is still available? I mean, you still have kept, somebody has kept a record of it or whatever, yeah. Actually, it was a Christmas Central brought out and we had it stuck on a cardboard, piece of cardboard with, with Christmas trees on it and it yeah. stuck on it. Right, yeah. What year was that about? Was Mike Roberts involved in that? Mike, Mike was involved. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he was a conductor. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Were you involved in the May Orchestra when they did set up that one time? No, we were. We were for a while, but we. That didn't continue there. No, no, we couldn't keep it. We were in the theatre with West. Thank you very much. Casper went to London one time, and they went his trombones and basses and trumpets. So when we went to London, the Saigo Band was starting up. So we went up to start the Saigo Band. That's right. And we had a road. Two. Two. Yeah, it was a sixteen-piece band. A uh, split for group of the of the the town band. In Westport. In Westport, yeah. yeah. Sixteen piece, yeah. five saxes, um, four trumpets. Four trumpets. Four, four, uh, two trombones and two basses, yeah. And, and, when, and when was that about? Uh, that'd be around that time as well. The time the what year like? Would it be sixties, seventies? Oh gee, it was the seventies. Yes, the eighties. In the eighties. Oh we did a good few gigs that time. We did the, the arts festival. Out in Woods Hotel yeah. on uh, Sunday morning. We did a couple of hours there. Painting the swan and Swan. We didn't make it in Bamlea. The arts, the arts thing inside as well. Took good. Who are the big characters over the years, apart from one or two around me here at the minute? Yeah. <laughs> but that was. Let me carry it. Well, Jackie Foley in it, really? Oh, Jackie. Jackie was in it. We're the late Jackie Foley. Mark Mullow. Michael McNally. Michael McNally. He died recently, and. I tell you, no, it wasn't the best for the same church as a band practice. Is it that? No, when politics and all that came up, <laughs> and the stranger that came in, wished they never came in. But it was all in fun, like, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Was something else. It was always a laugh. Oh. Always a laugh. <laughs> Tom Lanny used to come over and they enjoyed the, the bit of music, because it was the type of music we were playing. The minute America see him coming in and before they just start off and, and politics had come into it, and it's swear now that there was going to be deals from the water. We threw one at each other. Yeah. But the lads have been frightened at And were they politics, politics, or music politics? Oh, politics. Proper politics. Oh, politics. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the local derby effect as well, too. Castlebar and Westport. Castlebar yeah. doesn't yeah. like Westport better than vice versa, you know. There was a bit of competition there, was there? Oh, indeed. indeed. Were you so, better? You were? Well, we thought we were better. <laughs> well, Mikey McNally and I reckoned that we were the two best two big girls in the Westport band. For the last 20 years, and his reason for that was we were doing it. <laughs>
You do Christmas every year. Every year. Every year. Every year. Yeah. Top of the church. Because in the church, we did the church uh, before uh, the original mass at nine o'clock on Christmas Eve. There are three things we, we try to do, yeah. and the, uh, of course, uh, St. Patrick's Day for me. We were asked to go to America this year, to New York. <laughs> we couldn't leave. We couldn't leave West for <laughs> for, the, for, for the parade, is it? With, with uh, ca the Castleberry Band. To oh. the Castleberry Band. Oh, to play with them, yeah. Oh, well, you couldn't yeah. do that. Oh. Did you go to Castleberry Band? Right, right, that happened. You'd be lynched when you come home. <laughs> So, what were the high moments of this band over the years? When it was at its peak and its trough, as was it had both? Oh, well, when I joined the band, we, we um, what was that, 30 years ago, we had 43 in the band. A later on, was put with 43, and we had only the one show. One tune. The one tune, yeah. But as Larry said, we were changing our audience. And we went to a different audience, so they didn't know we played two windows down the street. So that's the one tune we had around the town. And there's 43 of us trying to play. But that's 35 years ago. And have you expanded your repertoire since? Oh, big time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, uh, well, I started them off on, on uh, sing along sound like a few new Susie and all that. To get away from the marches, there were only given marches before that. The cars at Christmas and the Corpus Christi procession, the, the hymns at that. So we got them onto this and we did, we started buying orchestrations then called the band. Yeah, each member had its own car, to say, just each yeah. instrument. It was a great thing. And uh, from there on, we, we kept the going quite a well. And the guy called Mike Roberts, Mike came to town, he was a chap from London. And uh, I got to know Mike pretty well. He was a very good trumpet player, a brilliant musician as well. And uh, I said to Mike, any chance of you coming in to take over the band? Which he did. And we, we did very, very high class to in the early Yes. There was a, a film director, and I cannot remember his name, uh, who's uh, arranged most of these the strip for us. It just cost us about 80, 80 pounds in arrangement for one tune. For one tune, yes. yeah. But, uh, well, we had about 20,000 or 20 or 30,000 pounds worth of music in music, there. Yeah. And it's all like this moment. And you still have that, I assume. Oh, we still, yeah. still have yeah. that, yeah. Right, yeah. But we had the, 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 the instrumentations for it, the instruments for it. But the last ones have gone. Yeah, it's dwindled down again. It's unfortunate. And we were we without a, a band room for eight years. Which meant we didn't recoup for eight years. Mm. And that was, that was the saddest part of it. And do you have a band room now? We have, yes. And where is that? In Condal Park. Oh, in Condal Park. They were top house there. Community yeah. house, yeah. yeah. And uh, you're, you're into jazz, Larry. I heard you on uh, the new radio station that's there tonight. Very night, good yeah, interview. Yeah. I heard I, it. Uh, I just that's it. I must get this man. I must talk to this man. Yeah, yeah. I was only the guest. Yeah, no, 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 you were involved in, in jazz, John, are you? I did, I played a few seasons with him, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, we arranged a part for John with the tuba, and it was very effective, because it, it was very traditional for, for traditional yeah. jazz to have a, a tuba. And you run a band? You have a, you have your own band? Jazz band? Well, we have a few ones have a band going together again now. Are you in that band too, John, yeah? I haven't gone back to one last week, I've had a few yeah. medical... <laughs> Problems, issues, Problems. issues <laughs> we call them. <laughs> <laughs> But you came through them. I did, no, I did. And the wind is better than ever, is it? <laughs> well, there's a bit, Larry. Not a lot, no, but a bit, yeah. Uh, is there much jazz in Westport, Larry? Uh, no, not very much, but we, we, we play in the Gings Club on the last Saturday of every month. That's the only gig now at the moment. So you're keeping it going, really? We're keeping it going, anyway. It's a marvellous night. Because they hear a lot of people talking about it. I hear a lot of people are interested in it, but yeah. it doesn't seem to have taken off like the, the uh, Kelly music and the. Even the little bit of classical Covey thing that's going on at the oh, moment. Yes, there's, a, there's a bit of interest in that, you know. That's true. But it would be nice if you could, if you could keep going, you know. Ah, yeah, we yeah. keep it going, Lenny. That was always a you know. And how did you get into music in the first place? I uh, started in the town of Bandon, in Bellum Road, in 1947. I was doing the Leaving Cert at the time, and this was in May, and I said, to heck with the Leaving Cert, I'm going to learn music. So I was put on the corner, and that's how I started. And how did you get involved in it, John? Same way, they said there were a group yeah. there. Through the band, yeah. yeah. I always fancied it, it was a trumpet player, but yeah. I didn't realise it was as difficult as it was, so 
I start off in the old day, Trumbers and Larry was teaching some of the tongue, no, I think he even some, throw something into the torture. But eventually, <laughs> anyway, we got to some groups of it and we met a fellow then from, from Dublin and he came down here with the Cambridge concert band, Hugh Lacey was his name. And he reckoned we were, uh, we had no heavy instruments as such, which we didn't have because of nobody playing. So a couple of us changed over them to tubas and uh, euphoniums and stuff like that. So that's how I cleaned up on this thing. Yeah. They kind of give it the bass sound, isn't it? I guess, yeah. yeah. Yes. yeah okay. You needed right. the heavy instruments to back up the chorus. Yeah. 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 Right. You brought in a few... Uh, Wind instruments out here, have you? Yeah. Your saxophone and. Uh... That's true, we didn't. John's daughter. Clarinet, sorry. Clarinet, yeah. Another daughter. No, it's just that time. It was all the family playing the band because yeah. when I was going on the band, the kids were there and she needed yeah. wife to take the wood so I agreed it would be in. Then eventually one of them started playing the clarinet and then the trumpet. And the same thing happened with Larry and Jack Mark Malone and yeah, the Dutch boys. The Dutch boys. The Dutch family. John's yeah. family. You had the Malone family, McNally. Uh, McNally family, and they were the, the main base of the and band. Foley. And, and Foley's, that's yeah, right. Yeah. They've kept it together, yeah, over yeah, the years. They were so three or four, three three four, four of them. Each, each, each family <coughs> in the band, you were doing marvellous, you know. Yeah, that's fantastic, yeah. yeah. So you're all very musical families then? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's much music in your family at home, Lango. Uh, the only thing I can say is my mother plays a Malone. <laughs> She, she stepped in one night in Val. There was a dance in Val, and the band had turned up, and uh, they got a melodia for her. And the, the famous Maple Ball in Val. It was only Maple Ball in, in, the, in the province, I think, at the time. At the time, yeah. And uh, she, she took over for a while. She had a few hands, and suddenly they, they, the band came. That's uh, my only contact. And you're still working? At this stage of your life? Oh, I'm not, no. Oh, you're not cutting I, a few heads still, no? Not, not, no. no, you gave up that idea. Yeah. That was the day job, but that was the day job long ago. <laughs> that was the day job. You still working, John? Yeah, yeah. yeah. doing a few days a week, yeah. yeah He's great. only a young lad. He's only a young lad, sorry. He has <laughs> both. You're only a young lad either, Larry, but the look at you and, the, and your behaviour. <laughs> oh, boy. Out of the lower hours of the morning and radio. Yeah. Okay, lads, thanks very much indeed. Thanks, thanks very much.